Legendary rock star Travis Barker goes down in flames. Who survives a plane crash? Travis's biggest fear came true. Your daughter predicted the crash? Everyone's drawing pictures of their family. Landon's drawing a picture of a plane crashing. Everything felt wrong. How did Travis survive when everyone else died? I jumped out of the plane, but my whole body caught fire. I was honestly just waiting for lights out. 15 seconds later, the plane blew up. I had 65% of my body burnt in third degree burns. You were willing to pay someone a million dollars to take you out. What was the turning point? Yeah. We do everything together. This is such a dream come true. The more close they get, her kids will be over at his house. Will Travis Barker's new relationship survive his dark past? Things are heating up between Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. I was like suicidal. It gives me anxiety. My kids couldn't come visit me. It's the most painful experience. How'd you live? But everything was on fire. Then I kicked open the emergency exit. I jumped out of the plane into it, the jet, which holds all the fuel. Yeah. So my whole body caught fire. Oh my goodness. And then, uh, and then I ran, just ran for my life. Along the embankment was a highway, and I just heard someone out of a car like shouting, like, stop, drop, and roll. So I did just that, and then about 15 seconds later, the plane blew up. My biggest fear in yeah. my whole, you know, world was coming true. I hated flying from the first flight I ever took. From a young age, I saw my mom fly with me one time, and she was very upset. She was crying, almost frantic, and because I could see that she got scared, I got scared too. But Travis lost his mom before she could help him conquer his fear. When she passed away when I was like 12. Cancer? Yeah. I wanted to help, but there was nothing I could do. I didn't realize how much I depended on my mother until she was gone. Gloria Barker's death left a void in Travis's life, one that he filled with drugs. I was rebelling. I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't been pissed off and heartbroken. One of the last things my mom told me was, no matter what, play the drums. Keep doing it follow your dreams. Travis desperately tried to fulfill his mom's wishes no matter what. Everyone would look at me sideways like I just want to play drums professionally somehow like and they'd be like Mr. Barker that's not a an option like yeah. you have to pick like English or math. Blink-182's first album with new drummer Travis Barker is skyrocketing the band to fame. We were young we were, we were one of the first bands that came from the punk scene that got signed to a major label. You've flown a lot. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, can't, it comes with the territory with what I do. Sometimes we'd fly twice a day. And I would self-medicate. I'd taken so many pills. Instead of staying home with his new family, Travis forced himself to keep touring. See, he doesn't remember me. It's okay. Oh, look at him. Please don't remember me, Papa. When Travis was home, he saw a close friend putting her family first. Our neighbor and friend, Travis Barker, decided to come over. Why does Travis always show up on Keeping Up With The Kardashians? I've known the family pretty much for like 10, 12 years. And we just happen to all live in the same neighborhoods. Courtney's awesome. I feel like I've gotten to the place where I can balance being a mom and working. I don't want to be stupid and make a bad choice. I feel really good and calm and ready. Before he could learn from Courtney, Travis was taking off again. My daughter was hysterically crying, didn't want me to fly that day, saying the roof's gonna come off. And I was like, what, what happened? Was there like an earthquake this morning? What triggered this? She just kept screaming it and crying it. Everything felt wrong, you know, like, really? yeah, like I called my pops from outside the plane and I was like, yo, this plane is really small. Stop. I have a horrible feeling, wow. you know, if anything happens, wow. make sure my kids are okay. Just 30 minutes after takeoff, Travis's life was on the line. The landing gear popped. It sounded like gunshots. It was like, it sounded like someone was shooting a gun next to my head. Um, and then the plane just spiraled out of control. You know, the plane basically would go up in the air and then it would crash down and hit the ground. And then it would come up and then it would crash down and hit the ground. And every time we hit the ground, the flames and the smoke would get bigger. And before the last impact, the plane was completely on fire. We were a, a, a ball of fire in the, in the sky. And I was honestly just waiting for lights out. The plane's on fire, my hands are on fire, and I jump right into the jet, ignite my whole body. With his worst fear having come true, Travis thought there was only one way out. I was a mess. I woke up probably out of 11 of my 30 surgeries. I woke up swinging on doctors. I was on so many drugs, I didn't even know my friends had passed away. I didn't even know the two pilots had passed away. 
I didn't remember anything. I went crazy. I was like suicidal. I would call friends of mine and go, yo, I'll deposit a million dollars into whoever's bank account. You were willing to pay someone a million dollars to take you out. But he didn't see what his pain was doing to his kids. It was just hard for them to see me in the state that I was in. You know, they color in class. Everyone's drawing pictures of their family or what they did on the weekend, and Landon's drawing a, a picture of a plane crashing. So, yeah. What was the turning point? It was mainly my kids and the second chance at life. I didn't take any drugs. I went from recreationally abusing drugs to coming out and refusing to take pain medicine. Travis was determined to be there for his kids the way his mom was for him. Can't protect them from everything. I can't shelter them from everything. All I can do is, you know, show them doing what worked for me and what didn't work for me and, um, you know, protect them and guide them as much as I can. And I watched him on tours and I used to be like, ooh, I want to go on stage. And then I was like, Dad, can I do singing lessons? It just spiraled into her wanting to make music. And uh, yeah, I'm extremely proud of her. We do everything together. Yeah. We're, we're friends. And by putting his kids first and being present, Travis found a new love right around the corner. Now, I'm, you know, spending time with a woman who's like a great mom, who's like a great friend, just comes natural. Because if you've survived and lived again, and so if you pick Courtney, that may say something very angelic about her. Every day is absolutely a blessing. You yeah. know, I get to wake up and do what I love and love what I do. You mm -hmm. know, amazing friends and family around me. Um, and there's, I have zero complaints. I tell my kids, you know, I want them to see me overcome not flying. So I've, I've told both of them, like, the day you guys want to fly, I'm on a plane. Did Kanye West destroy Kim Kardashian's family? Kanye West had an epic meltdown. I know you got killers. Please don't send them at my head. Everyone thinks he's having a breakdown. Y'all tried to lock me up. My husband is really outspoken. He has the best heart. Hey, Stop it! Brother, I'll leave you Stop it!